Well, you're out on the streets looking good. But baby, deep down in your heart, you know it just ain't right. She was a little drunk and pissed off, wasn't she? She was. <laughs> she was drunk and pissed. Fucking awesome, that woman. God damn, if I could open my mouth and make it sound like that, that'd be <sighs> so great. God damn it. I yes. went, <sighs> yeah, whatever. So we had, that was actually kind of fun. We had a false start, mm-hmm. which... Because I cracked myself up. And then, so then we got back into it and we launched back into it. And then you got critical of me wearing my reading glasses. It wasn't critical. It's actually genuine confusion. I'm trying to understand why don't you wear contacts if you can't see. Wear contacts. Before it became querying about my contacts, I went to grab my glasses and you're like, she needs glasses. She needs glasses. I was having fun. Fuck you. At your expense. I fucking can't see because of the fucking stress you put me under. <laughs> I stopped working because I'm sick of looking at it. <laughs> Hi. How are you? So that leads me into what I wanted to talk about today. Take another little piece of my heart, motherfucker. Is what an asshole I've been lately. Oh, I'm happy to hear all about that. Yeah, like an absolute you have asshole. Been, really? Yeah. yeah, I have been. Yeah. I've been a fucking asshole, a total asshole. Um, I've just been like oppressive and mean and critical and nitpicky and just full of shit. Mm-hmm. Just absolutely, just unnecessary, undue stress on you and nitpicking and just full of shit. Go on. And just making it feel like you always have to apologize for things and that you have to walk on rice paper. I think it's eggshells, but go on. Yeah. None of this is going to make it in the final cut, by the way. This is just... I'll just <laughs> Coward. Of course it will. Okay. Um, but I've just been full of shit. I think you've just been, like, stressed out. I've been stressed out. I just have been... You're PMS. Then I, yeah, I think I'm on my fucking period. Mm-hmm. Or I got a yeast infection or something. I don't know what the Candida. fuck it is. <laughs> Candida. You got a gut problem. Did people, I remember a while ago, people used to get Candida a lot. I don't hear about it so much because anymore. Because it was, um, you hear about it when there's a new discovery and then it's the thing of the moment. Right. People still totally it's do Candida. It's the Candida il- illness du jour. Totally. Right. I remember all my friends back in the day were like, oh, really. Candida. Candida. Yeah, they had, and they couldn't, they. I can't remember. They couldn't eat anything. It was like, I can have almonds. Or no, it wasn't even almonds. I don't even know. But they were all starving. Mm-hmm. I decided not to get candied at that point. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I've been a total dick. Okay. No, it's really bad. I mean, I really try it's to, really like, bad. not push your buttons. But it's hard not to when you're a giant button machine. Like, if I a sigh. giant butthole machine. Yeah. I lost my shit with you yesterday. Yeah, you did. We were in the kitchen because he was being such a dick. I like was like, okay, that's enough. You know, like I'm kind of like, I'm not gonna go she's there the, because she's the I'll- mild manner, the mild mannered reporter for a good point, and then she turns into Superwoman when it gets too much. What? Superman, Clark Kent's the mild mannered reporter. Oh, I that see. That you kind of can push around, and then all of a sudden something happens, and it's he's like, like Rawr! Rawr! He's off the cape. And yeah, that was like, me right there. Yeah, right the there, right yesterday. where the cam- almost right where the camera is. And I saw, I saw <laughs> your face when I went there. You were like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I snapped it together fast, didn't and I? I was like, oh, got his attention. <laughs> He was like, oh, shit, she's there. She yeah. went there. Yeah, but I knew that I had, like, stepped too far out. Like, I had just But my rage far. wasn't, like, rage. It was, like, it was, like, what was next needed to wake you up to get your shit together. Yeah. I wasn't actually, like, deeply pissed. You looked deeply pissed. Well, it was. Like, I thought you were going to throw a cup. But it wasn't that kind of pissed. It wasn't, like, cray-cray pissed. It was. <laughs> You need to know how insane this is. Yeah. And I am going to turn up the volume to yeah, impinge yeah. so that you know this is fucking enough. Do, do you, let me ask you a question. Okay. Because in our years together, we've only had a few times where we've been like, like we've gone to, we've gone there, right? Like we've had yeah. lots of fights, of course, we're married. Yeah. But only a few times where it's like it goes to the 10 or 11. Mm-hmm. Mark, right? There's only been a couple of those. And, but I don't, I can remember a couple of times where I turned it up to create an effect. But, yeah, but as... Well, but I, the mo- majority of them was me genuinely out of my fucking mind. Like, yeah, this was me. Yesterday was different. It was like... Were you out of your mind or were you turning no. it up to make an effect? No, I was like talking... Here's what it was. I was talking to you about things that to me are very obvious common sense manners of life and like how you're being. And you were like looking at me like dumbfoundedly and I was like, he 
No, but I really, wanna, you're not getting this. But I want to answer. I want to answer, answer the question. So when when we've had the times, like I'm thinking back over. Well, times like in when, the past times when I went there, yeah. I was crazy. Like, like when you beat me up, right? <laughs> well, that doesn't make you look very good. The to two, concede, like I beat you up. You beat me up. I punched you here, like this. Ow! Why are you doing it so hard right now? That was what I did. And then one time we were driving as in the hard car, as you could. and I started punching you again and kicking me with your strong dancer legs. Yeah. To where I was, I was a pulp in the corner, and I had to. I forget what. Well, I, we weren't driving. But we were like in a little. We were we were we moving. We were driving at like five mile, yeah, three miles an hour. Yeah, but it was dangerous. But yeah. but you those those two times where you you went like, but and I was, deserved you know it. What it was? Well, I deserved that the first was one. me going crazy with not enough responsibility. Okay. This yesterday was you need to fucking knock it so off. So you know, so you do know, like the majority because you're very. To like before, I was like, ah! you okay. took me there. This was, I am going to impinge on you right now because Dude, that's enough. There is nothing like. like it was uh, knowing. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't yes. insane. It was me knowing what I was doing. There's nothing like a couple's fight. That, <laughs> like, I remember one time I was with a group of friends in a Taco Bell parking lot at like two in the morning. And a car came into the, the parking lot and it went like. <laughs> like it kept starting and stopping violently every 10 feet. Like violently. Like as if like someone was having a seizure behind the wheel. And, and, but I mean like crazy, right? And mm-hmm. I turned to my friends and I went, there's a guy and a girl having a fight in that car. There's a couple's fight. Mm-hmm. And uh, that lasted that, <laughs> lasted a few seconds. And then a guy got out of the car, screamed through the windshield, walked around the car screaming and then got back in the car and continued to do. And then- Well, he had to get out of the car and yell at it so he didn't hit her. Right. That's and, probably what he And then the do. girl- a few minutes got out and started walking and then he got like and I was like yep that's that's when you've like <laughs> I have so been there where it's like you just fucking something about it just it just I remember one time at the front gate do you remember me at the front I was like I was slamming it's because I gate. wouldn't talk to you oh god oh my god <laughs> when you would get you would be fucked up and then shut down and not be available to talk? Yeah, because I'm just getting attacked. And oh. I'm like, I'm not going to sit here talking to someone oh, that won't reason with me. Oh, have you guys ever had that happen where you get so... And then they just walk away? Oh, my God. It made me just go... Do you remember the... T- <laughs> do you remember the one in that... Because all of our biggest fights happened in like a one-month period. It was the one where I got beat up twice and the one where you walk the Arclight one, the Arclight Theater, where uh-huh. I texted you. That was much later. I see it all as one clump of yeah, well, of, of badness. S- similar. Do you remember the text chain? Oh, when you wouldn't yeah. a- when you wouldn't answer me? Well, yeah, and, and you got out of the car <laughs> and then I took the car. No, I left you with No, I took the car. You took the car and, you and had I no key and, and I, I was like and I was walk I had to it walk was home. Date night. This is after this we made the rule. You don't talk about issues or upsets on date night. You just go have date night. The kicking me was that night. That was the drive home. When no, you kicked me, yes, it was. Oh, really? That the the kicking me was that day. Oopsie. After you finally fa- we found each other through texting where you were, you picked right, me up. Right. I drove. We don't do that anymore. No, it hasn't happened in in years and years. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But nothing. But I like I, we don't do that. We understand. We've worked. those helped us grow. Like we had those experiences oh, yeah. and made rules for ourselves after that and took responsibility as to like. Why are we acting like this? What's yeah. happening? Oh, it's this and this. And then we grew up. Those when, grew us. They didn't drive us apart. When you beat the shit out of me the first time, because there was a couple times, when you beat the shit out of me the first time, I actually changed. No joke. Like, yeah, I was did. like, I was like, okay, I fucking. By the way, beat the I shit. I was crazy. This is not. Here's the thing. He I'm, was a fucking ass. I'm not I justifying was, I was domestic a- violence, but let me just say he was a fucking asshole. And I went like this. Don't do it again hard. See? Look how trained I, she, she's got Come me. Come on. I'm afraid. I went like this. Yeah, but a harder, like as hard as you can. Yeah. <laughs> I was really frustrated and, with you. And I just, because I'm a boxer, I tra- have a lot of training as a boxer, so I just <laughs> covered myself, and I just waited till it was all played out, till I got her against the ropes. 25 and, years. You know, most and then couples I just, <laughs> don't go like this. Ow, why do you have to keep hitting me to prove this fucking point? They end up just hating each other and getting divorced. Yeah. But, but I changed. instead of getting divorced, I punched your arm several times, and then we, you changed, and then... You're so being politically correct. You went all off on me. And the fact that you hit my arm was because I'm trained as a boxer, and I, all I gave you was my arm to hit. Because I was, I was bob and weaving and had covered my face and neck. It isn't that you were hitting my arm. It was that. <laughs> What's that? Okay. The point is, is that... Here's the point. I deserved it, number one. I was Hands defending down. myself against total emotional... Okay. 
attack. I deserved it. And oftentimes, and this is actually a really interesting point. Oftentimes, if you see in a relationship... Verbal abuse! Listen, listen to me. Uh-huh. And you see someone going totally crazy, like crazy, don't think it's the crazy person that's, that's out of control. No, it's the other person that has <laughs> taken them there. If you see in a marriage there's one person, or in a relationship, marriage, who cares? It's relationships. This show isn't about marriage. It's about relationships. In a relationship, there's one person that has a, like a psychotic fucking break. Look to the other one. Don't look to the look person at that the had... Look the quiet one. Yeah, that's that just was sitting me. there with a smirk on their face. That was fucking me. I was making such fucked up comments to my wife that were so fucked up. When she snapped, I went, oh my God, this is me. I did this. I took her there. This is a really sweet person that went there. So I actually changed from that day on. I still think that you should This week, you dabbled into that area on like... Yeah. A homeopathic level, like just the (laughs) tiniest doses. It was just the smallest dose to give you the, to give you the immunity, (laughs) to give you the immunity of 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 losing my shit again. Supreme rage. Mm -hmm. Then give a little tiny bit of chocolate in the teeth, just the tiniest. Let me swish with my coffee. That should taste awesome. Let me just. I just. It would be a good husband would say that, right? Let me just. Do I have? How about me? It's a little bit like one little thing right there. One little. There is a danger to eat. You got it. It's clean as a biscuit. How about me? (laughs) <laughs> you're good we have a thing we worked out long ago when we're at a restaurant with other people if we go like this we go ha 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 like a big smile it means look at my teeth how am I doing really <laughs> wait is that you or is that my other family I have another family in El Monte no <laughs> Fresno <laughs> I look like a horse. Like <laughs> I have a wife in Fresno that I have a lot of the stuff worked out with praying like hey 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 and that's the immediate cue for that <laughs> is there something in my tooth so, anyway, I lost my shit with you yesterday because yeah. I was frustrated. But I think that certain people have an analytical. You were like lose their shit. <clears throat> that was what it was yesterday. Yeah, I don't lose my shit. Because by the way, let me just remind you. So the d- night before we like took the kids out for barbecue, right? Yeah. Do you do you realize how controlling you were being? You're like turn left here. I turn right my, here. Now turn right here. Now put him blood, there. But like my you blood were, sugar was so low. I was, I was so like, dizzy. You know what it was? It was communism. <laughs> I'm in a communistic marriage. I mean, you have to share everything with me and you don't get anything for yourself? No. And who Mookie, do the orders come from? Mookie, I think you're talking about a dictatorship. This isn't, it's not communistic or Marxist. It's more of a dictator, right, Moo? Yeah, like communism is more like you work your ass off and then you just give it all to me and shit. No, well, I don't it, take shit from you. Doesn't it I slowly go from do. one to the other? I mean, there's they're neighbors, dictatorships and communism. You're thinking of like our hand go like right n- hand in hand. Well, like North Korea, what's that? That's a dictatorship, right? It's a it's a dictatorship, Ta-da! communist dictatorship. Yeah, but it's really it's a malevolent monarch that runs that country, right? Like an evil an evil dictator. Still okay. Yep. Still communism says Moo. But yeah. But here's the thing: I don't take anything from you. Like, I'm not, I'm not asking My sanity. The, the wealth to be shared. Yes, well, that's different. There's plenty of that. To, you have got plenty of it. For the so family. it's okay? <laughs> I have so much sanity, I could just... You're so fucking sane. <laughs> just spread the seeds. <laughs> spread the fucking seeds, sweetheart. Well, me giving it and you sucking it from me is Spre- two different things. Spread, See, parasites spread, are spread, taking... Don't call me a parasite. I'm that's not, fucking I'm, mean. I'm Unless not. Unless it's really true. I'm not my sanity. <laughs> this is a heavy week, guys. This was a heavy week. <laughs> <laughs> it was a heavy week. And here's the thing. It's all me. It's all 25 me. 25 years together. She's Every never, now and then you have one of those moments. She's never been sweeter. <laughs> like, no, I've like, I'm doing so great. I'm happy. I'm like she's working hard. I'm and, like, a the fucking kids doll. Are doing great. Everything's going good. And she's he's just been like. Arr, arr, arr. <sighs> like I go to get the glasses. She needs glasses. Like fuck that you. That was me being yeah, a but it's just, podcast fucker. Yeah. That was me. And I, I'm going to get my eyes to get glasses. I'm going to get glasses. We talked about that. I'm just saying that it's not the first time. It's not that just in this moment you're being like a podcast asshole. <laughs> you no. do it every time I'm like, oh, wait, hang on. I'm going to go get my glasses. It's not like a neutral thing for you. You're like, <sighs> okay. okay. You like have to do a thing. Okay. Like, and, you, put up. and you don't give me material at all. Because I need glasses? Front. No. On. Oh, this is the. You, <laughs> this is. This is esp- just genius espionage work by my wife right now. We already talked about why I have glasses all over the place. But you run a lot of drama on seeing in glasses. Okay. Right? You're not like... Because I can't fucking see and my vision's going fast. 
lost. And and you're what's and, up with that? And you never it's have your glasses with you. They're always lost. They're always so. It's not like I don't. It's not like I'm just chasing you around. And my phone. Around. I don't know where my phone is. I don't know where my glasses are. What else would you like to pick on me about when I'm Nothing. trying to survive in life and do 900 million things? Oh, I would like to. Clever espionage work right now. Here, ready? Clever espionage work right so now. So the yes. podcast was scheduled for 11 o'clock this morning. Yes. Well, no, it was scheduled I, for 11.30. No, it was been on the calendar for 11. I'm getting to the 11.30 part. <laughs> I'll, I'm thirsty. 11 a.m. I even checked it this morning. I, I have 100 billion things I do, okay? I have a lot of hats I wear and a lot of stuff I'm doing. So I go, okay, 11, and I back up. How, what can I get done there? I can get that script read there. I can work out there. I can make those calls. <laughs> I'm going to fucking shove this up your ass on camera. <laughs> okay, go Don't ahead. act like you're falling asleep while I'm talking. <laughs> no, go ahead. And then it's like, oh, no, he's coming at 1130. And, it, and it's just like a fluid schedule. Yeah, I'm going to do this. We talked about the fluid schedule. It's just like it's what works for you. And you don't like check and go, well, I have a, like a doctor appointment or I have this. You can't just change it and not tell me. Here's what happened mm. on that. I um, was scheduled for 11, but I realized that Moo was going to have to come here from a far away, and that he's, and so uh, there was a reason that I moved it to 11:30 without telling you, but I don't remember what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> there's a reason. It's really good too. It's a really mm -hmm. fucking good reason. It's a really good. Let's see if I have any notes on it here. <laughs> nope, no notes on it. Let's see if there's anything any. Nope, on my computer and the emails I've gotten about why that was moved to 11.30 without telling you. Nope. You know, and listen. I actually think that you kind of do it to fuck with me. No. I think that, no, I think there's a part of you back here some, oh, you're jumpy. Jesus oh, Christ. I'm a little jumpy these days. Jesus. There's a little part of you that's like, this will annoy her, but fuck it. It shouldn't no. annoy her. No, absolutely not. That's it's insane. not even at that. You're not even at that level of consciousness. That's <laughs> fucked up shit. That's that's a fucked up. That's passive aggressive fucked up shit. I'm I'm over aggressive. Mm -hmm. So much better. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not any better. I feel bad. I know. I was being very sarcastic. I feel fucking bad. I want just like normal. Um, that's what I you want. You deserve better. I want normal. You deserve better. I want like, hey, good morning, cool. How are you? Yeah, good. So what are we doing today? Uh, no, I've like, been like, how are you? Uh, you open your <laughs> mouth these days, and I feel like I'm like, like I'm already like my cackles are up. Cockles. I know. What the fuck is up? I'm touchy. I, maybe I have secrets. Lots of bad secrets. I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, I don't have any secrets. I've been a good boy. No, you're awesome. It's just like, dude, like. I don't know what the fuck it is. Just be normal. You know, I think we're just going. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't care so much about controlling every single thing in life. I feel like you walk around feeling the need to, like, make sure everything's going the way you, in your head, think it should go, whether it's your universe or not. Like, you should think this. You should prepare for the podcast this way. Why are you over there doing that? You should do this. It's all, like... I'm not You're having like that needing sensation. Needing to like smother with your universe instead of like going, just letting people do their shit. Like I think that you should do an experiment. Yeah. It'll probably make you give you an illness. <laughs> Get a tanner. <laughs> of an aneur an aneurysm. No. Oh god, that's the worst. I can't even joke about that. Okay. Okay. No, I think that you should do an experiment. Like, I'll give you a reward of some sort if you could actually pull this off, which is. Well, you'd have to try it for one day and see if you don't even, if you go psychotic. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a day where it's but not a lot going on? I'd love you to try on? to do <laughs> five days where you don't care what other people do. Five whole days? Like, just do your thing. Don't worry about anybody else. D dude, 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 your thing gets into my shit all the time. That's what I, that's why I get all. No, but you're anticipatory. But your shit gets into my shit. If yeah, I just did my own thing and let you do your own thing, your shit gets into my shit. You need to be a ninja. Okay. Might my shit not get into your shit so much if you weren't jumping into my shit? No, I've done that test already. No, you so, have not. Yeah, you don't I have. even know how to do that test. Yes, I your do. Your eyes will like start bleeding if you actually do this. You'll be no. like, I don't know how to exist. Just, just letting you do anything you want. Is that what you mean? Like be specific. Like you can't even understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> what if you just lived your life for five days? Can I do this out of town? Giving, no, here in life. Okay. Where you don't give a flying fuck what happens. You just do your thing. But don't worry about like, 
What exactly did the kids eat? What's happening? How is her indica? Is she happy? Is she doing well? Like, just know I'm happy and well. I don't need you like going, is she happy and Can well? Can you guys like, go back to the podcast where my kids ate rice cakes for nothing but five days and had, and, and we had to like take them to the doctor because we thought their appendix were burst. But I'm telling you. And, and a million you, other stories like this. When someone is like looking down your neck, you start doing things I don't want to look down your neck. I don't even want to have this conversation right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just telling you, I think you're a little bit over concerned with the activities of others in a control freak kind of way. Yes. And you need to back off. Yes. I've talked about. Yes, I agree. <clears throat> it's not even funny or humorous or interesting to me. It's true. And it's, it's true. like suffocating. And then we make mistakes. Like just back off. I d- um, Live your life. Trust. It's trust. Because I don't think you trust that other my God, people. I'm getting so annoyed right now. <laughs> Uh, that other people can survive well unless you're smothering them with inspection like a hall monitor. Is this interesting to people? <laughs> Is this interesting to people? For, to people to, to watch me squirm and watch me get totally annoyed? I don't think it's that interesting. I think it's fascinating. I don't think it's that what interesting. What I think would be fascinating is if you knocked it off. <laughs> I'd throw you a party. I'd give you like anything you wanted. Anything? Pretty much. Anything? Look at I just moved your chocolate. Oh yeah, no you you. Anything. That's where that goes. It doesn't go on this side. It goes on this side. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you just miss your mouth? I missed. I was making a point. I went, <laughs> and then I missed. <laughs> Look, I didn't get to see it. Okay. See, we make mistakes. I don't care about your... We, we make all make... Mistakes. I make more mistakes than no, you. No, when you're like jumping all into my business. Oh, 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 I wasn't yes. choking on chocolate before you moved my shit around and got all in my yeah, universe. I, uh, well, okay. It's like a guest that ain't invited. Here's the thing. Love us, help us, but don't marionette us. I wish I could find the humor in this to make this fun for people. I can't find any humor. It's because it's way too true. Yeah, like it's way like too deep. Like I don't find this humorous at all for me. <laughs> okay. I like it better when I'm just teasing you and making you laugh. Okay. <laughs> no, but you're right. Um, I'm really, let me just work this out Do for you myself. you need to find a way to get out of this one? Yeah. You want me to help you get out of it? Yeah, like we went down a, a road on the, on, the, mm-hmm. on the script. That's We're not ready place. to joke about it yet? No. It's not funny. This is something that maybe next year we'll talk about in the podcast. Is remember when you used to maybe dot like dot dot twenty fifth anniversary edition of the podcast? <laughs> we talk about it and we reminisce and we show footage of me <laughs> trying to move the chocolate and we do a montage clip of me moving the chocolate and telling you how to hold your mic and doing this and doing that mm. and then I laugh about it, ha ha ha. But I'm so not there right now. Okay, I'm way too buried in my own fucking shit on this right now. Because my reasoning is that if I just let you do it all. I've had experiences where I go like, well, that kind of turned out shitty. So if I had just done it myself, it would have gone better. But I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm getting dizzy. I'm not having fun. I um, want to tell you something. I understand that because okay. I feel the same way about you on certain things. <laughs> okay, good. I feel like if I just let you do it, it's going to go to shit. Okay, good. So we're in the same boat. Look, I, at, we have each have a mutual over-controlling, non-trusting thing about each other. <laughs> Wait, we can oh, grow if, from this. That mean they... Okay. If you I because you said if you leave it, to, it'll go. It'll not go well. And I agree with you because you have a really good ability in certain areas. Oh, that's I not know my what strong you're suit. Yeah, like in those other areas, if you just let me handle it, uh, I'm worried that yeah. my survival is at risk. Yeah, I get it. So we each have it. We each have it. That's good. Wow, I get what you're saying. So we can and you. So now we know how we don't like it to each other. So now we have to help each other through that. Yeah. We can do it. We can do it. Um. I'm, I know we can. I'm so far into this podcast in the darkest rabbit hole. I don't Aww. know how to, I don't know okay, how to get well, out of it. Okay, well, do you want me to tell you an epiphany I had about myself? <laughs> sure, go for it. Okay. This will just be your podcast, and everyone will just watch me uncomfortably <laughs> sit here smiling and nodding. No. Okay, you know how you hate it when I, and we've said this on a million podcasts before, you hate it when I, like, give you a problem, like, or how I'm, like, dramatic. I just burped, sorry. I'm talking, I'm worked up, I have chocolate and coffee. Okay, <laughs> it's like the video people may not have noticed, but the audio people definitely heard that. Um, and I'm like... <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Go ahead. No, okay, you know how I'm like, we'll just start talking about something and then you get a little bit hysterical about me? 
yes. that all that I'm be- giving you drama. Yes. Okay. And then I get really confused and I go, well, fuck it. I'm just not even going to talk to you about anything. And you go, that's not the solution. Yes. Okay. I have further broken it down into three categories. Yes. Because I want to understand it because I don't want to make you do this every time I start to talk about something. <laughs> that's what I do. Your mouth goes tight. She. The shoulders go up. His sphincter goes. I know she's going to present oh. some some problem or some some upset or some drama or something. Yeah. So I realized, because I, I don't want to create that effect on you because I don't want that in my life. I don't want like sphincter tightened, shoulder hunched, tight lipped, anxious husband. So I went, okay. Because it's not everything. It's not every time I open my mouth that you do this. Right. So, and life is life. Like, I feel like I want to be free to communicate and live my life in my house without you turning into like, I don't know, the mon- a monster or whatever. Herman <laughs> Munster. Like, okay. Okay. So you, we say, okay, there's the times when I really need your help and you're happy to help me. Yeah. Okay. So it's hard for me to differentiate between what are the times when you really need my help and what are the times... And then what are the times when I'm just talking and you get all worked up as if I'm giving you a problem and I'm not even in a problem, but you go, you're, you're totally in a problem. Look at how dramatic you're being. And I feel totally happy. I thought I was smiling while saying it. This happened recently. I was smiling. We had a fight in the thing here. We miss it. No, that was the same fight. Okay. So that was the fight. I was smiling when I said something and you lost it because you're like, no, you were being dramatic. I was like, I was smiling. I was while, telling you what while happened. While talking about such a fucked up subject. But I wasn't upset about it. But it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but here's the three categories. Fucked up subject. Okay. Is it not? What? Our kid getting upset? No, 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 no. It was just. Uh, the no, subject. I was talking about when I trimmed his nail and he didn't like the way it felt. And I was like, here's what happened because you had just come downstairs. Yeah. And you were wondering why he was upset. He was all freaked out. Because I trimmed his nail too short. <laughs> which, you, which, how many times have you done? Whatever. Just answer the question, though. I always do. And he always gets upset. You and you yeah, and him, but this time I actually did. You and trim him it too far always too get into fights but because he had a you broken tri- nail. You always get into fights because you trim his nails too hard, and then he gets he cries and freaks out. Okay, <laughs> so it happens a lot, and I'm upstairs trying to work, and sure enough, my son comes upstairs in tears because you trim his nails too hard. Number ten, no ten t- time number ten. This has happened. I hope that the audience is starting to figure out it's not all just Bodie Elfman's insanity. There's more that meets the eye on this one. Okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. But back to my three categories of wife drama. Okay, good. One, and then when you get upset, I just go, I'm not going to talk to you. And you're like, that's not the answer. Okay, so I'm I'm like, okay, what is it then? Okay, so here's the deal. Girls, like we've said, like I'll be like, God, I can't. And they go, I know, right? I'm like, I know. What the fuck? It's so fucked up. I have to. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Okay. I have to dinner it. I can't deal with that. Yeah, you hate it. I hate it. Okay, but if a, but girls do this all the time. And we go, I know, right? Tell her, what's up with that? I don't know. She really, you too? Me too? Yeah. Huh. We aren't trying to solve it for each other. Yeah. We just need someone to go, I know. And then we're good. And then we solve it. Yeah. We just like to talk about the drama of it. But we'll solve it. No concern. But it's pleasurable for us to like yap about it as we go. You don't want to hear anything about that. You just go solve it, or you try to solve it for me. And I'm like, get out of my shit! Don't try to solve it for me. And you're like, well, what are you gonna do about it? And I'm like, ah, back off! You know you're being serious. I wasn't being all serious about it. And you were like, you gotta solve it. What are you gonna do about it? You don't, don't tell me about it. If you don't tell me about it, give me a solution. What's your solution? If you're gonna talk about it, have a solution. Jenna, you will you will be like. <laughs> this, you, you. You'll be like, so it's not a big deal, but like I've lost the use of my left leg and I can't, and I can't walk. And it looks like it's going to have to amputate it. But it's going to be fine because I know how to use wheelchairs really good. And it, But if I take this one medicine, which is only found in China, I'll probably get my left leg back. But I'm really good with wheelchairs and I'm optimistic about it. That's what you do to me all the time. So I'm like, so I'm like the medicine's just in China? Well, how do we get it? You're like, you don't have to get upset. It's just it's not, all, my left leg will be gone and I'll, I'll use a wheelchair. But it's really okay because I'm really good. I'm really good with it. But it's in, and I'm like, look, why don't we try to get the fucking medicine from China? Why are we sitting here talking about it? Let's, let's call it the, fuck, that's an example of what my life is like all the time with you. Thank you, hallelujah, for you bringing the story up so we can get an example of what it is all the time. Yeah, if you if it's not a problem to you, don't fucking bring it up to me because I can't got so much fucking, 
I can't take it. I can't take it. You cut my son's nails down to nubs. My son was crying because he couldn't feel. He, his nails were nubs. And he was like, it feels weird. It feels weird. And I'm upstairs working, and my son comes up crying because his nails feel weird. <laughs> and it's only the 30th time this has happened to where, I, to where I am the one who is, I'm the only one that's allowed to cut my son's nails now. And he demands that I do it at <clears throat> night where, he, where he's not awake for it because he's so <laughs> terrified of what happens when Jenna cuts his nails that he asks me to cut his nails at night when he's not awake for it. So maybe we both have a little bit to say in this idea of <laughs> my complete insanity of being an asshole husband and controlling and a dictator dick. I am the dick dictator. And you possibly creating a little bit of a scene where it looks like someone may need to <laughs> take a little bit of control of the area because we're a little worried about fingers being... How many times, how many times have you drawn blood on my kids while clipping their nails? No, never. Cutting their hair is a different subject. <laughs> I've nipped Easton's ear three times. His <laughs> ear three times. So I've drawn blood on his ear three times okay. while cutting his hair. All right, so. Can I have a napkin? <laughs> so here's what I'm trying to say. We both <sighs> got a lot in this one. We both got a lot. <sighs> We're going to have to get Jenna a napkin. <sighs> Listen, thank you for this because you drew me out of my funk because I was in a dark <laughs> place 10 minutes ago in the podcast. I was in thank a you. very dark place. <laughs> I did not know how I was going to get out of this. I felt very bad about myself. Mm. But making fun of you drew me, right, <laughs> drew me right out. And I feel so much fucking better about it all right uh, now. Oh, my God. Uh, <sighs> I didn't get to finish my three categories of wife drama. Well, there'll be plenty more podcasts where this came from. Uh, we have some fun news coming for you guys soon, guys. Oh, yeah, we do. Really fucking fun news about the podcast. Oh my god, my mascara is really fucked up. <sighs> I love you, Mrs. Elfin. I'm sorry I for love being you a dick. Too. I'm sorry for being a dick. I'm not sorry for being crazy because I think it's entertaining. You're not crazy. I'm crazy. You're amazing. I'm sorry. I am amazing. I love, I love you. you. I love you. Come on. Just wear contacts. It's not contacts. What? If you can't, then why do people wear contacts? Because that's different. This is like over 40 fucking, I need to read fucking. So what's contacts? I don't know. Have you asked? What do you fucking care? You start going like this too. Yeah, I don't, but yeah, but I don't. It's going to come a time. <laughs> And when you have to wear these fucking old man bullshit, I'm going to ride your ass so hard. I just don't know. It's not that you need glasses. It's not that you need glasses. It's just that I'm wondering why you don't wear glasses or just... Because it's reading. I have to make an appointment and I'm busy to get the full, like, progressive so I can just leave the fucking shit on my face and not have to keep going on and off and, with readers. And, and why don't you wear contacts? Explain that part to me again. I don't know that they have contact because I only need it mainly for looking down. So if I look up, like, do they have progressive contacts when they're sliding all around your eyeball? I don't think so. You wear glasses. Here, let's do this. Let's let's go through this again. Make sure you got, make sure you got the lyrics. <sighs>